Sinsuko announced the plans for the horizontal redesign. <laughs> the one single setup that would be finally super was the one with the dash to panel. Unfortunately the extension isn't yet ported to GOM 40, and even more scary, there isn't any work in progress towards either. <laughs> and so next we can try the second most interesting setup, the lava shell. Huh, Shino-san, can I do it for you please? That's the last time Coco interferes to my role. I promise. And so, come with me to show you. Look how happy she looks. I just can't hate her. So the first you want to do, is to merge this request on Master, and rebuild Shell of course. If you don't know how, GitLab is polite enough to give us step-by-step -step guidelines. I already have applied these patches, and what's happening is that anywhere we click on the gray space, we activate the application launcher. However to go back we can only press escape or click on 9 dots. I don't know any other way, which might be an issue since next we're gonna remove the whole dash. The second you wanna do is to remove all the favorites. That's because a new feature in GNOME 40 that will hide all the favorites from the launcher, like the NVIDIA app. Obviously the goal here is for not having duplicates, although I disagree with the design. However if we run the application, it will be still visible both on Shell Launcher and Shell Dash, so everything will be cool when we remove the dock. By the way I launched NVIDIA with click and control, that's why it didn't exit App Picker. The last and final step is obviously to hide the dash. But before we hide the dash, let's see something else. Check for a bit the workspace aside previews, and how large are here and here. And also how much space dash gets. Now if we hide the dash, check out how smaller the side previews became, because workspaces now consume all the bottom space. Still, we have some gray space to click and open the picker. Even on the bottom edge of the screen. So another thing we can do next, is to typically resize the workspace's previews, and double their size to 10%. And that will again dynamically change the workspace's size, so notice again how the side workspace's previous have gone bigger. And of course we can also hide the search input if we want. And let me quickly do, just to see how the remaining space will be rearranged. So the active workspace will grow bigger, and the side workspaces will grow smaller. It's a little bit harder to see the windows previews from rest workspaces edges, but we can still drag our apps, so everything's mostly okay. And so that was everything, and Lava Shell was a small demonstration of how Shell 40 can work without the dash, which isn't particularly useful and that's actually by design. I mean GNOME developers could easily provide hide show options on desktop state etc, and give it a bigger role in the workflow, but they just don't want.